Welcome back, traders and investors. Our third and final guest today is Kiana Danielle. She is the CEO of Invest Diva and author of Invest Diva's Guide to Making Money in Forex. She's multilingual Forex analyst, award winning speaker, TV personality, and an entrepreneur based in Japan. Are you talking to us from Japan? No, right now I'm right here in New York. Okay, how you doing today, Kiana? Hi, I'm good. How are you? We're doing good. We have a great show today, and now we're going to talk a little bit about the importance of education when trading today, and uh, also today's trading tip. Great. I'm very excited to be here. Okay, and uh, so tell us about the importance of education in trading. Okay, so... It is obviously very important. There is no, <laughs> uh, there is a reason why I'm in this market, and it's because I've been trading since I was in college, actually, in Japan since, since 2008. Most people would think that would have been a very bad time to start trading because the markets collapsed, but I actually wrote on the, the other side of the dollar crash, dollar yen crash, and I actually doubled my money in less than a month. And uh, after that, I started to trade on my own and uh, with other brokers and came to realize the importance of education because about 70%, 78% actually of traders lose money, especially in Forex, because they think that this is a risk, get rich quick marketing plan and they get in it, they think they treat it as gambling and most of them lose money. And as I traded on my own, uh, I realized how important it is to make informed decisions when trading and treat it, treat especially forex trading, any other trading, as investing. Because if you just get in the market because you hear some noise on TV, uh, you are most likely going to lose money. And it is important to look at the market from a larger point of view know your budget, know your risk reward, your risk tolerance, and risk appetite as well before even thinking about trading. Okay, so the Forex market is a big market, a lot of participants. Uh, you're dealing with a lot of banks as well as, you know, individual speculators and <laughs> traders out there. What do you base your trading decisions on? Are you, uh, did, I mean, obviously, if you're trading, you know, the foreign currency market, you have to be a really paying attention to the fundamentals and then uh, also how much is our uh, technical analysis part of your strategy? Right. So I feel the fundamental part of it, it really depends on what kind of a trader you are. If you're a day trader or a scalper and you trade on a day-to-day -day basis and you hold your trade for less than an hour, 30 minutes sometimes or a day, then yes, you definitely need to be fully aware of the fundamentals because the volatilities are extreme. Myself, uh, because of my own personality, I am a longer-term trader. When it comes to forex trading, if you call a long-term long trader, it doesn't mean a year. <laughs> a long-term trader, um, I hold my trades somewhere between three days to even two to three months. And for that, I am, again, aware of the fundamentals just so that I avoid volatility and uh, move my stop loss um, or limit orders because of that, loosen it up sometimes. But other than that, I'm actually a technical analyst because the markets, any market, it comes in a cycle. And your job as a technical analyst is to identify the bottom and the top based on your, uh, based on the market cycle and place your trade. So uh, to answer your question, I'm actually more of a technical analyst and a market sentiment analyst. Okay, so you will do trades. You could be in them anywhere for two to three days. Obviously, the longer you're in them, the better, and that's how you stay into the, the trades for a longer time. Do you go all in, in in trades when you decide that you want to take a position, or do you identify like an entire area of support and resistance and then over the course of a couple days get into the position? Um. Well, I'm watching the markets 
every day because of my job and as a market and as a market advisor. So um, I'm watching it. For example, today I uh, I was watching Aussie dollar actually because of some fundamental factors, and um, uh, you see the Aussie dollar it hit a top uh, in March actually uh, at. 0.94, and um, based on that, we were actually expecting the market to go. We thought the market cycle is actually has finished up and it's going to go back down. But yes, we had to see a wait for now. It has been trading in a range for about three months, and suddenly today, yesterday, actually, we saw a breakout and then upward uh, to the uh, up of the Ichimoku cloud. cloud. So chances are that the market is not going to go further down anytime soon, and we can see another up movement to the previous top. So yes, definitely I watch the market uh, as I go, and when I see some opportunity, I enter the market. Sometimes you're right, you're wrong, that happens, but most of the times uh, if you watch the market long enough, you uh, get to have winning profits. Uh, and are you following all the different currencies? Uh, you know, the yen, the pound. Do you just do you go where the trades are, or do you have certain formations that you wait for a setup and then go into a trade? I follow all the majors at all times, and there are only seven majors, so it's not uh, that hard. And uh, as I follow it on a day-to-day basis, sometimes an opportunity shows up and today, and I really want to get into it in a short period, and I do it, but most of the times I'm following them for a longer term point of view, and um, I pick my pick of the day, how I call it, based on a signal that looks interesting for me. Okay, and uh, and you can't really post bids or offers, right, in the forex market. You just have to, you know, take or hit liquidity, correct? Yes, yes, most of the time. Okay, all right. And uh, what tips would you have for anybody that uh, was interested in trading the forex markets? Well, um. There is something that they have to be aware of. A lot of education out there right now is coming from the brokers. And brokers make money when you trade. It doesn't mean if you win or lose, but they make money every time that you place a trade. So their strategy uh, is basically to make you trade as much as possible. And that is the reason why I actually don't affiliate myself with any brokers, because when they push you and they educate you in a way to trade as much as possible to maximize your profit, because no matter how much losing trades you have, if you trade more, you're going to have more profit, that is basically going to burn you out. Uh, that is why I recommend, the reason why I um, designed my education program is because I saw how many people got into the market, got their interest, and traded as much as they could in the course of six months. They lost everything, and now they're out. My strategy and my education program is designed for people who want to be in it for a long time and have a good flow of extra income on the side. So I definitely recommend our education program, uh, which is um, a video-based education program, five hours of video, uh, 100 Two minute, two to five minute videos presented by myself. Very entertaining, to the point, not boring like your typical webinar uh, that you see here and there on, on brokers' websites. And you really get to understand what moves the forex market. You get to understand technical analysis very deeply, and it is geared towards people who have no idea about. Forex trading, actually. So, and you, we talk about fundamental analysis, how to choose your broker, how to trade, and what type of a trader you are. So we cover all that. Okay, sounds like a good deal. We've had uh, Kiana Danielle on here, and she's the CEO of Invest Diva and the author of Invest Diva's Guide to Making Money in Forex Market, giving us uh, her background and her approach to the markets. Uh, 
be sure to check out her site. Kiana, thanks for coming on. Uh, have a good uh, a good day, and uh, we hope to have you back on. Thank you, Joe. Have a nice day.